13 Action News Update sponsored by Cox, bringing us closer. Hello, I'm Dave Corvassi, and right now on your 13 Action News Update, a man is dead after officers found him shot and lying in the road. Metro first got a call about the victim around 1 this morning. Right now, they're still searching for a shooter, trying to determine what led to all this. If you have any information, please call police. And this morning, 13 Action News continues to take the extra time to comb through the details of a deadly plane crash. The Mirage F-1 jet found in a northeast neighborhood near Christie and Lake Mead. Here's what we know right now. About 2.30 Monday afternoon, the pilot died in the crash. Their identity has not been released. There was no one else on board. The plane was owned by Draken US, a company that provides adversary support to help train pilots at Nellis Air Force Base. Draken says it's working with authorities on their investigation into just what happened. Sheriff Joe Lombardo is running for governor next year. Lombardo confirming the news in Reno yesterday. He was there for a charity related event for Washoe County Sheriff's Office. Lombardo also saying he's visiting northern Nevada so people there can get to know him. He'll face North Las Vegas Mayor John Lee in a Republican primary. We've got temperatures headed back to the mid 90s, so the heat returns to southern Nevada going for 94 here in Las Vegas. Expect plenty of sunshine and temperatures pleasantly in the 70s this morning, uh, but then the high clouds show up by late morning and those high clouds will get pretty thick this afternoon. Also gets pretty windy this afternoon with some gusts of 30 miles per hour. Dave, now that we're in the mid 90s, we're going to stay there the rest of the week this weekend, even early next week. All right, Justin, that was your 13 Action News update. You'll find more on our website, KTNV.com and our free mobile app.